All right, guys, welcome to the stream and welcome to the next short episode of Let's Play Project Hospital. It's not going to be a long one because it's a bit late, but it's all right. <laughs> we are basically going to continue <coughs> treating our patients this morning. It's 12.22 in the hospital in the morning let's see we have this person here waiting for player that's good jennifer jones let's get all the others out of the picture and i think the other one is richard smith oh he's just going to the chair but he's probably possibly i believe he's the one that we have to pay attention now there is one more Oh, actually we have, oh gosh, we have one, two, three, three possible people who might be <coughs> collapsing soon. Hopefully it's not going to happen. But anyway, let's just go. Richard Smith, we don't need to worry about. Jennifer Jones is waiting for the player. Let's quickly check if we are missing anybody as going, waiting for the uh, player because that can be really annoying when at five o'clock or six o'clock at the game time you realize that this guy or this woman <coughs> has been waiting for you all day long at the hospital sometimes they just start complaining that okay there you go you see there is a peter jones here also waiting for us and oh no we already gave him the we already gave him what he needed so i think that's fine we're good there. Anybody else waiting for me? No. Okay. So this guy, we already gave him diuretics and bronchodilators. Uh, let me see where he is. Where is he? Hold on. Okay. He is already at the doctor's office. That's good. So he's going to be taken care of with these things. And once he is you know we're gonna be able to like treat him further i mean we already know what his problem is but we might have we have four hidden symptoms for him so <laughs> we might fix him further but he's already in the right department and the right place so he's he's all fine okay so let's just go and go to jennifer jones he is, she is waiting for us. So let's see what he has. Breathing problem, we already gave him bronchiolitis because she had a very serious breathing problem. So that's taken care of. And she has fatigue. Now we already did a ton of things. Interview, physical, chest, speech, temperature, neck, oral, blood and CRP, blood pressure and CRP. Now let's see, it's unfortunately, it's so many different things. 7 times 6 is, what, 42, 42 different possibilities, and it could be a lot of different places also. So let's actually see, we believe it's in cardiology, so let's actually take a look what we can do that could be quickly, maybe determine that he is not cardiology. I believe we have already checked his temperature, she, uh, her temperature, She's, she doesn't have a fever, that's good. Uh, abdominal palpation, would that help? I'm not even sure what that would do. I'm just checking out what... I mean, that's something very simple and I can do it very quickly if I want to. That's not a problem. It's just what's the point. Um, fatigue, I will do a neurological uh, testing for sure. I... I will do a thorax percussion. I don't want to send her yet to anywhere else because she's still in the office. Right there, you see? She's still in the office. I want to keep her in the office until we finish treating, you know, giving, basically doing everything that she can do right there. Um... Okay, you know what? Let's do these two 
I probably we have to come back to her and continue but let's just do these two things and let's just keep going and let's go to our next patient who is I think I can put it somewhere here sitting here and he is also having some oh he has necrosis that's very dangerous and only can be done in the traumatology unit so you basically are you're already dying like your dead tissue is causing trouble so basically you have to go over there is no choice you go over to neurology and you're gonna deal with the debris this one hand pain everything is else is I believe is like okay level now since you already know that it's a microwave burn um, what else do we need we don't need a biopsy sampling because that would just give him the burn management we don't need blood test because it doesn't give anything emergency care they basically gonna give it to her uh, him I believe so yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just simply gonna send him over and ask them to treat him for that and he should be all fine hopefully he doesn't collapse on the way that's all okay new one again fever has 23 times holy crap that means 130 138 possible diagnosis so as you can see the more <clears throat> clinics i opened once i opened so many different clinics that actually means that I am having a ton of possible uh, sicknesses and a ton of possible uh, uh, treatments. So if I just had a clinic, just ER, just an ER clinic, um, I would have only patients, even though it would show all these things, it would only give me sicknesses that are just for that and I could treat everybody until the day is long but um, the more I open it up it's more and more becoming harder and I believe that since I opened the ER hospitalization it's kind of pushing me toward the direction that hey he's so complicated you have to put him in bed we'll see so for now uh, he has fever I can only do a physical I actually gonna check his temperature because it might be a normal fever or might be let's see some places here you would see some extra high fever like here which could co which could be a really big problem although mostly mostly infectious disease but other things as well so i want to make sure that he doesn't have an extra really high fever he doesn't really have any other problem um i mean he does but he doesn't tell us so i would say at this time, let's do the physical and temperature. Let's do like a speech listening because that's just talking to him. Talking to her, that's quick, right? All right. In the meantime, by the way, we already made 30,000. I mean, we made how much money? 14,000 so far. Actually, 16,000, but we paid the night shift already. So we have 14,000 profit we still need roughly six to eight thousand so today is kind of rough but let's see I want to be in the profit because 30,000 they're gonna deduct about 22,000 already for salaries so I effectively only have like 8,000 in my pocket I mean in something that I can actually use Okay, so you already had triage into physical, abdominal, temperature, and speech listening. And at least you are in the right direction, in the right place. What can we do with you? Um, I don't know why I would do it. Oh, chest oscillation could be if you have a... He would need a blood transfusion i don't know if i can do that but if he has this problem he might have a chest oscillation speech listening we already did that so no need uh we're gonna do uh crp because that's very quick and it's in right here in the office 
and that's that's all that you're gonna do right now if necessary we're gonna see some other stuff as well but like all these are uncomfortable things i try to keep people comfortable he has clean feet that's good at least my doctor is not going to be annoyed by the way our prestige is 95 percent for whatever reason our, our orthopedia is not happy let's see why i'm just wondering okay annoyed and need critical for a, a staff no problem with the patients so somebody really need to go to the either eat or pee or whatever um all right they're gonna be all right they're gonna be all right normally worst case scenario by the time the day is over they're gonna be all right so never mind okay so you already got these let's go how about you sir okay we know what your problem is you are in the right department and uh, let's see um if we do physical then we would give you some pain medicine but you don't have right now same with the ear exam okay okay so let's do a physical and an ear exam probably an ear exam would be just enough but let's be absolutely sure how about you uh blurred vision again we have Oh, actually, it's not that many possibilities. Most of it is neurology, but a couple of them are traumatology. Uh, actually, as you can see, like, it's definitely not ours. So we will need to send him somewhere else, but the question is, where would we send him? Um, what is the best way to figure it out? Well, definitely do a physical. And let's do a temperature management, a temperature check, okay? Maybe a speech listening. Cardiology. Uh, you would have what would be physical would actually determine quite a bit, right? A speech listening. Would a speech listening really help us? Um. Does it look like it? Is there any speech listening here? I'm not even sure. The these icons are very helpful, but sometimes not 100% consistent. So I don't see anything about speech listening here that would help us at all. So I'm not going to do that. But the neurological testing could be helpful. Uh, and as I said, let's do let's check your temperature. If it's an option, maybe it's not even an option because none of these would have a fever. Okay, I can live with that. Then let's just do it. We can con we can come back to her anytime we want because she is in the doctor's office. Okay, so you got your bronchitis sorted out. Your breathing problem that's good. Thorax percussion actually found that you have chest pain, which, as you can see still leaves us open with a lot of five times six which is 30 different uh, possibilities still a lot um how about an abdominal palpation just i'm doing some very simple what else can i do right here nothing really uh let's do that one just right here it's gonna take she's coming back to us in a second probably the next one after this uh, nausea, weakness, abdominal pain, physical abdominal temperature and blood pressure didn't show us anything. Um, now here, fatigue, interview, physical, blood test would show us something obviously, but I don't want to go in there. Um, a blood pressure, we already did that. We did, uh, we haven't done a speech listening. Let's do a speech listening here. That's a very quick one. Let's do a CRP because these two would have CRP related. Okay, and uh, yeah, for now, just like that. So we are basically going, uh, you know, we are changing and, and 
reacting as we go. Now you are, you already know that we have miliaria, <coughs> and you're in the right place. We just want to figure out what else you have. You're definitely going to check your temperature. Uh, physical, yeah, we do that. But we already have steroid cream for you, for rush and everything. So that wouldn't help you. We already give you the pain medicine. Okay, now this is something new. If it if he's sweating a lot, then we could give him anticholinergics. Nergics. Yeah, nergics. Nergics. Okay, so let's still do a physical. Fine. Other than that, we really don't need to do pretty much anything. Everything is physical. Look at that. 100% physical and temperature. That's fine. And that would give us all that we need. She came back right now. Here you go. Down to three. Oh no, this is the different one. Oh no, this is the one. So now we are down to three. Uh, pr primary peritonitis. What is it? Bacterial infection. Membrane covering the inner abdomen of all organs within the abdominal cavity. Okay. Um, left un untreated. It's almost always fatal. That is actually kind of scary. Crohn's disease, inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis is the same, but with ulcers. So, uh, what can we do? Um, I know I could probably do an, a CT, yeah, that could show. We already did the physical, so that's, I mean, I don't know why they put that to the last physically. I think they put the more dangerous things in the back so you can like see them quicker, I guess. So right here, the only thing that we can do, okay, um, since either one of them, he has to wait, right? Uh, should I try a differential first? I'm thinking about it. Okay, let's do a differential first. Let's see if the doctor can figure something out. Jennifer Jones is back. Okay. And thorax percussion showed chest pain. Chest pain. Okay. And still we have either internal. Look at that. It's, oh no, he's, she still has all that. But abdominal palpation didn't show anything. Okay. Time to bring out the big guns. Now you are, you are in here so let's actually try to treat you like that let's do an ecg and an echo maybe either one of them is very important or we could do an x-ray actually if it's so many possibilities even an angiography could help i don't know which one i would do actually an ecg is it seems to be ECG is something that is very good. MRI, USG possibly. Yeah, ECG is like widely necessary. So let's do an ECG here. Okay, and... Um, I actually think we should do an X-ray chest. Ah, uh, no, let's do an ECG. Let's go one by one. Go do an ECG, please, and then we will see. Karen Clark, okay, look at that. The differential diagnosis actually managed us to find out what the problem is. So I love this feature. You know, differential diagnosis is just something so important. All right, so we already know that that's your problem. You are in the right department, and there is nothing else we can do. So we're just going to treat you, and off you go. Okay, what about you? Nancy Martinez, you have fever, and we already checked your temperature, physical, and speech, and nothing showed up. Okay, that's not good. We have 23 pages, not 23 possible diagnoses, 23 times 6 possible diagnoses. So let's try to narrow it down a little bit. 
Okay, um, still let's go with the simple stuff. So let's do a chest, neurological, thorax, oral cavity, and let's do a CRP to see if it's inflammation. Okay, you are going to be busy with there for a while, but it's only 12.45, that's fine. Okay, you fart a lot and you lost weight. Okay, stay off the beans. Anyway, um, what can we do with you? Uh, definitely we're going to do a, a physical and an abdominal, and we're going to check your temperature. All right, let's do that first. Blurred vision, and now we have watery eyes coming from the physical and that means that she's definitely a neurology issue now let's see how many people are in the neurology department uh, blah, 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 blah. two okay that's definitely more than what i have here so thank you for cooperating you are going over to neurology and then, since you're already there, let's see what else we can do. We don't need a basic, basic physical test. We already know that you have a blurred vision. And we already know that you have watery eyes. We could do a neurological testing, which could show that you are having photophobia. And if you have none of them, then this one is the one. We could do a skin allergy test, an ophthalmoscopy, and a... Oh, okay, we don't have that. So actually, this is what I'm kind of looking at. She doesn't have photophobia, so I have a feeling she's going to have this. Okay, so let's do these two, skin allergy and ophthalmoscopy, and that hopefully going to determine what her problem is. All right, uh, chronic kidney disease, brucellosis. I don't even know if I say it correctly, probably not. Hepatic fi fibrosis and pork tapeworm. Okay, that's a nice combination of things. And nothing came up with anything, but here's the thing, many things that doesn't come up with a symptom actually still helps us, you know, get rid of some of the possibilities, right? So what can we do? Um, Let's see, um, serological testing, CT, blood test, physical, CT again, speech listening, we already did that, physical, physical, blood pressure management, did we do that? Yes, we did. Blood test, okay, blood, transient elastography, I never heard of that. What is that? Special ultrasound imaging, image, image, imaging method that maps elastic properties and stiffness of soft tissues in the internal organs. So it's gen definitely general surgery stuff, if we do that, but it's not actually something would give you crazy... All right, first I want to see if there is anything that I can just do. Definitely a CBC, I mean, definitely a blood test would come in handy, I believe. But I'm just checking anything else that I can quickly do without really hurting him. I don't think so. So let's do, actually, let's do a CT. Okay, that could be pointing out to the right direction. Blood test or CT? Let's decide. Or a urinalysis? No, urinalysis it wouldn't give us anything. It doesn't seem to be relevant at all. It looks like, I don't, oh yeah, that is. But it's just, it's just uh, like a little side effect. So I don't think so. That's, that's not what I want to do. Uh, we already do the CRP and it showed up negative, so I think this one is not the 
these are not the ones, I guess. But then again, who knows? Um, which one is the least? USG is not a problem, but the problem is it doesn't show you too much. I'm going to do a CT. Okay? Go to a CT. Nobody's in the CT room right now because I'm the one who's sending patients there and I haven't sent anybody there for a long time. Now, you already know exactly with the ear exam and physical, you already know all your symptoms, everything. So you're just going to be treated like that. And we have another happy customer. Well, not that happy. Actually, he's happy. He's a bit uncomfortable. But he's happy. Now, let's see. Fever, we, are, we definitely give him this. Ear discharge, NSAIDs. Okay, it's medium. So I'm going to give him the NSAIDs. Eardrops, he's getting it. Eardrops, he's getting it. Okay, he doesn't need that one. Fine. I just want to make sure that he gets what he needs. Okay, so we already did William White. The one that we are worried about that maybe he's going to have some serious issues. Let's take a look if he's still a possible, yeah, he's still a possible collapsing patient. So I'm not sure where are you right now, sir, here in the, still in this office. Okay, um, either internal or cardiology. Unfortunately, I cannot send you just 21. I did already do an ECG. I did do the blood pressure. I could do an angiography. Would speech listening be any way helpful? I don't think so. It doesn't look like speech listening is in any way helpful to us. A CT. Forex percussion, we did that already. CT, we didn't. MRI. And this one would want an angiography. Now, which one is better, an MRI or an angiography? Uh, it's discomfort low, of course. Angiography also low. Okay, which one is more dangerous here? This one could be high. Both of them are could be high. So I'm going to send him first to do an angiography. It's either one of them, unfortunately. So I have to kind of decide which one I want. And that's what I decided on. Okay, so you already know what your problem is. Crohn disease, that's good. So figured it out. I'm happy. Uh, do we need anything else, though? Stool collecting, blood draw? I don't think so. None of these would actually help us. It would give him recommendations, which I don't really care about. Maybe he is even getting them. No, that's fine. Um, blood test. It's all low, low. We don't need that. Yeah, I think we are just gonna just gonna treat him. That's fine. I mean her, sorry about that. Just go ahead and treat her. Let's see. I just wanna make sure that you are getting the analga six. You are getting the and antireplix. I just wanna make sure that he gets everything that is medium. There you go. Okay. Next one. Poison ivy rash, okay. And that's internal medicine. Now Here's the thing. What is steroid cream? Um, should I just treat her right here? I mean, I know that, you know, I don't know how long it takes to, to treat her. But you know what? I'm just going to simply treat, I'm just going to treat her like here. There is no need to send her anywhere else. So just treat her right here. Okay, charge Jackson. Influenza B. Okay, so what we did was we did the serologic testing because when you have A or B, that's the only thing that can determine what you have. So now we have that. We can just treat him accordingly and we're fine. 
How about you? Okay, so we did a, a physical and differential and it didn't help us. So, you know, you have no choice. You have to go and do an x-ray. Thank you. We tried to avoid it. We couldn't. Okay, microwave burn. We already know that. Now, here is the thing. We're going to send him right over to traumatology. And there, we don't, don't, we don't, we're going to do a physical. That's it. I don't think we need anything else. Judy Lewis, you have malaria. Okay, we know that. Neck palpation, what would it help us? Nothing, right? I don't think neck palpation would would actually go, give us the swollen limb nodes, and we already know that you have that, so no need to do that. Differential evaluation, none of them needed, so we're just simply going to treat you. You are in the right department, so go. Now, again, let's see. Uh, swollen limb nodes, everything is low, right? Low, 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 low. If everything is low, I just let the doctors decide what they give him or her. Doesn't really matter. Now, you have headache and tenderness. So why did you go to the cardiology department? I mean, yeah, you could have gone internal emergency cardiology or traumatology. We don't have infections. So you couldn't go there. Okay. Actually, hold on. It didn't really, like, I think this was the one who had, like, a ton of different possibilities. I think we did narrow it down at least a little bit, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to do a chest oscillation because there are a couple of them that could have some coughing issues. Thorax percussion, this one would be it, right? Yeah. Some of, one would show two, no, this one not. This one is physical also. Let's do a thorax percussion because it's very quick and you are right in the of in the office, right? So you can do that. And let's do a quick CRP because apparently you can just do it in the office. We don't have to you don't have to go anywhere. So check that. And let's go. Now it's already one o'clock, we have to pay attention. Okay, Richard Smith. He's got desquamation. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Okay, itching, redness, okay. Obviously, radiation dermatitis itself is obviously a very serious condition. I believe that he is the one that they are, Richard Smith. Yeah, he's the one that is like potentially dangerous, but you are, you are okay. You are in good hands right now. We have physical, would give you protective dressing. We already have that. Okay, let's do a physical. Okay, just to make sure. Let's do a physical with you. And by the way, guys, I think more or less I have to wrap it up soon because unfortunately today I have very little time. Okay, we did a physical ophthalmoscopy. Okay, we did nothing with microbiome, so it shouldn't be this, right? Physical genioscopy. We can do the genioscopy also in the office, right? Oh, he's already in the, in the lab. I should have yeah, I should have done this in the office while he was in the office. So it's kind of messed it up. Differential is maybe a little bit too early. Let's do a genioscopy, which he can, she can do in the lab, the doctor. And let's do a differential diagnosis, which has 6% of not a high chance, but let's do All right, and this person here, go over to cardiology. Oh, well, I think she can stay here, no worries. All right, guys, um, unfortunately, as you can see, time is running out. 
uh, which means that I will have to stop. Uh, we're still only at one o'clock here in the hospital, so I definitely won't be able to like finish the day or do anything meaningful. So dragging it further doesn't help. At least we had, you know, when you see an autosave, that means that we passed at least one hour. So that's good. We managed to proceed in the day a little bit. So let's save it and say keep on working doesn't matter the only reason is that we can actually just see that there were some uh, extra saving going on not just auto save that's the only purpose so thank you so much guys for coming i think i will have to finish it right here and uh, don't forget to check out my other series my ostrip series and i also sometimes play some other games i did put a video that i recorded in the car uh if you watch that you can understand a bit more about my plans and what I want to do and please leave a comment if you can and uh, let me know what you think uh, in the meantime don't forget to like like hit the subscribe button the bell and you can probably see me live streaming pretty much at this time like I'm finishing this time every morning roughly an hour or so um, every morning my time whatever time it is for you I don't know depending where you are so I will look forward to see you guys very soon. See you in the next episode. Thank you and bye-bye.